Welcome back, or welcome, if this is your first time, to another episode of Before Bed Tarot Spread. I am Charlita. Um, if you are interested in booking your own personal reading, you can do so with the links down below in the description box, okay? We just gonna jump right into these readings, y'all, because <laughs> I'm gonna tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's very tired today if for those of you who already follow me on instagram if you don't again it's in the description below please go ahead and follow me on there that's the only social media platform that i have outside of youtube okay but <laughs> today has been very trying for me like i said if you already follow me you're already a follower you're already my friend you know i have posted that my son max has transitioned to his big boy bed today out of his crib patience is a virtue <laughs> Oh, like he's asleep now, so I'm gonna try to keep my tone at a level that y'all can hear me, but not super duper high. But y'all, parents out there, my gosh, if you have a toddler, <laughs> he he took to his bed very well. I will say that. It's just the, um, I have to, I've had to put a gate in front of his door because prior to transitioning his bed, I had a gate that blocked off my room where my room is set up because I have a lot of shelving in that room and I didn't want him getting into anything. So he had free range everywhere in the house except for my room now <laughs> because he's got free range and he can get in and out of his bed he just gonna have to have free range in his room and blocked off everywhere else unless of course i take him out but yeah y'all he wasn't feeling that <laughs> he wasn't feeling that too tough at all so what i had to do is just basically get him and I know this is kind of a sidebar, but this is how my day went. Um, I had to block him off in his room so that he can have free range, um, which I thought would be a good thing. I thought that it would be something that he would really gravitate towards because usually or well, before, um, you know, I would have to put little toys and stuff inside of his crib for to keep him preoccupied. Of course, he's got his TV in his room, so outside of movies and things that he likes to watch, little toys and such, but now that he can get in or out of his bed, I had to put the gate up, of course, but he has access to his other toys and stuff, you know, now that he's getting a little bit bigger, but y'all, when I tell you, I tried to close the door, and he was like, mm, woman, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so... Long story short, y'all, I just had to keep the gate up to keep the door open until he fell asleep, but now his door is closed, and that's just how it's going to have to be until he gets, I guess, adjusted, which is kind of odd to me, because when he was in his bed and I closed the door, he had no problem with it, but I guess because he was in that confined space, it was just something that he was just used to, so he's getting reused to the I, mommy problems anywho we gonna jump into this reading right now i hope y'all had a great day it is currently the 19th on a tuesday it went up on a tuesday all right or whenever this video finds you and you watch it i hope that you had a great day thus far but i'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet because like i said uh, my day was trying and i'm really looking forward to bedtime <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to jump into it, but I had to give y'all this before I laid it down. So, let's start with the Rider Week Tarot. Let's see what the universe has.
And y'all, just keep in mind that these are general. Please take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? Don't make it fit if it don't. You don't want to be manifesting something that has nothing to do with you. But if you feel like, hmm, I can relate to that message, then it's for you, okay? Simple as that. Oh, all right. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we take them to, let me just ask the universe, Ascended Masters, my guardian angels, great spirit, and my ancestors, my grandma, me and my grandpa, to be with us and cover us through this weekend. So now let's see what the universe has. Page of Swords in reverse. And Judgment. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the lovers, okay? So, so with the Ten of Wands, um, this card can symbolize that you are carrying a lot on your plate. Maybe you have a heavy load. Obviously, as you can see, this guy's carrying... A bunch of wands um, and metaphorically it could mean that you are just you have a lot on your plate right now but too much is given much is required so you know it's not necessarily a negative card in a sense but if you do feel like you are getting to a point of exhaustion make sure you have someone in your corner um, to kind of balance the load out with you and if you don't necessarily have someone in your corner, then make sure that you break down the things that you are trying to do to a point that it won't cause so much exhaustion and exert your energy. You know, it's all about balance. Okay, following the king card, the ten of wands comes the page of pentacles. And this speaks about new financial opportunities okay the pinnacles in the tarot deck symbolizes the material uh world and realm wealth money finances all of that so good things to come okay the pages in the tarot deck symbolizes action okay and it's about to come into existence page of swords in reverse so again with a sense of that action when the card is you know in the upright it means you're going forth but when it's in the reverse it could mean that you're thinking or acting um had had haphazardly excuse me about um said action and have no fear you know if you get a good idea and it's coming to you trust it you know, um, it's of course you want to act with, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not necessarily caution. Um, you can be cautious about, um, your action, but don't let it get to the point where it's 
to the point where you become stagnant and you're not doing anything, you know, um, in the sense of being like all talk but no action. Um, because if you have a good idea and you feel strongly that, you know, it'll suit you well, you know, there's no reason why you shouldn't go after your blessings you know don't block your own blessings because you're in your head um the swords in the tarot deck is all about um mental what your what your thoughts are so don't self-sabotage yourself okay by overthinking something or maybe it won't work out you know that's negative lack thought process like no we clearing all of that out (laughs) no um tap into your power and what serves you and good feeling thoughts are definitely going to serve you in this season you know don't take your your new ideas and what may be coming to you intuitively um with a grain of salt like it's coming to you for a reason so trust it okay and then lastly the judgment card popped up now this card is one of my favorites because as you can see you got the people down here but there's an angel emerging through the sky um to me this card symbolizes like the universe got you your guardian angels got you and um you know there's no reason to fear honestly there's no reason to fear like answer your call step up to what god has chosen for you step up to what the universe has in store for you only you can do it you know don't overthink it and don't think that because something may be maybe it's something you think of as far as entering a different field or changing a career you may think it's oversaturated you may think there's no place for you but there is you know the thought when it came to you if you weren't meant to it and you can add your own special part to a collective and um there's a place in the space for everybody so when this card comes up trust it trust 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 okay and um (laughs) the lovers for the lovers to be at the bottom of the deck you know the lovers isn't just about um romantic partnership um it, it's also a symbolizing a symbolization of choice so we have free will of course we can do what we want the choice is ultimately up to you but go with your gut go what feels right and trust that God has got you throughout it all, okay? So we're going to get a couple cards from the Oracle. Work your light deck. Again, I know that systemically and as a society, as a community, where it's it's too easy sometimes to turn a blind eye to newness, new ideas, new perspectives. But um, okay, I'm gonna take them for. But all think about everything that has been created in the world. They had to start from somewhere. We are, and I feel for me personally, 
to as well, you know, we're growing into a space when we are really trusting ourselves, trusting our intuition, trusting our minds and trusting source to guide us. Um, and sometimes we are so used to second guessing ourselves because <laughs> unfortunately we have grown to normalize fear, but fear is an illusion. You know, fear is a state of mind and fear is a state of being. It is an illusion. Okay. It's, and when I say it's an illusion, I mean that it's something you're not really attached to unless you attach yourself to it. Okay. So get into alignment with yourself, center yourself, allow your thoughts to clearly come to you and trust yourself. Start learning to trust yourself and you'll begin to really love yourself even more and trust your inner guidance, okay? So the cards that came out, <laughs> align your life, like I just said, what is not aligned or needs to change, you know what needs to change and only you know what needs to change. So align your life. Sisterhood of the Rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Some of you out there may be a spiritual practitioner watching this. Okay. If you feel like you have some special gifts that you want to share to the world, tap into it, look into it. Birthing a new age, birthing a new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Love it. You know, as you shift your vibrations and your thoughts into positive perspectives, you are hiring your vibration and therefore you are hiring the energy of the planet. Did you know that? If you didn't, I'm glad you <laughs> I'm glad you know now. Okay, and lastly we have star seed. What lights you up? Star seeds of the world unite. There is no coincidence. If you feel like you are a star seed, you might just be one. Okay. Find what lights you up. What are you passionate about? If you could do it for free, what would you do? If you could do every day what you love for free, no money involved, what would you do? I guarantee and I could promise you as you look more in depth into that truth about yourself because that's who you really are you know unfortunately and fortunately um because there's a reason for everything in all of it of how it is even when it doesn't make sense it makes sense um but what was I saying <laughs> um your passion um, if you can wake up every day and do what you love, focus and, and, and give more time to that. I was saying, I know that we live in a world, in a society where money rules and we need money to support us and blah, blah, blah. But I just personally feel like if you can get up and dedicate 40 hours a week to a job that is only paying you to service them, then you can, it may not be 40 hours, but at least, at least 25, something, even if it's 30 minutes, put some time into the things that speak to you, your gifts, um, invest in yourself, star seed, what lights you up? Focus on that. Water that seed. Okay? It's in you for a reason. Okay. Let's see. I think I want to close off this reading with the Shaman Oracle deck. and see what great spirit has to show us that we can move forward. 
along our journey. <laughs> For the remainder of the week. Okay. And y'all, please, please, please know I am one of you, okay? And I am learning just like you. I am taking in this information just like you. I'm not above or below. <laughs> like, I am here with y'all. So know that it's okay to embark on something new. Ha <laughs> ha, Blossom. That's one of my favorite cards in this deck, okay? I know sometimes it may feel like a little bit of anxiousness to start something new. But again, remember what I said about fear. Don't attach yourself to something that's not true. What's true is the idea that came to you. What's not true is the fear that you're trying to attach yourself to that idea. Why do it? Give yourself a shot. Give yourself a shot no matter what the outcome is because you know what? At least you can say, I gave it my all. I gave it a try. Okay? And I learned something in the process. Hello? And maybe the experience was for you to learn something within that process so that the next time you try to do something different or something else new, you'll have that notch in your belt. Okay? Badger, Blossom, let's see if the universe has one more card. Look like it wanted to flip out of me. Just in case, if you are a beginner with the tarot, this is the old cover I'm working with. So, Blossom. This was one of my cards of the day a couple, maybe a month or two ago. And it's up on my Instagram. Here it is. So, the message with Blossom. Smile for today, all day long, at other people and also at animals, the way any blossom, quote unquote, smiles. A blossom just radiates its colors and em emanates <laughs> its fragrance. It shares its beauty no matter who cares to, quote unquote, meet it. Then check in the evening how your day was, a new phase of your life full of joy and lightheartedness is awaiting for you to enter into an quote unquote full blossom. I love that. Next we have Badger. The message for Badger is you know your own skills and facilities best you look at a personal goal and you decide independently on which way you will reach it 
Take care that you remain quite gentle in regards to your question or topic while continuing to work to proceed to your goal, which never escapes your gaze. Okay. And last two. Let us know. When it Medicine Wells message. Let's see. Okay. When you carry out a shamanic ritual today, you will feel a special blessing coming to it and to you into your subject matter of the ritual. You may want to do a whole medicine wheel ceremony or smudge your home in all four corners or walk out into nature or even into wilderness bow into all four directions give thanks for your life until now and open up for an inkling into which direction you should proceed okay so that can kind of go hand in hand with meditation you guys for you who for those of you who don't know um the full moon is entering Aries tomorrow on the 20th. And uh, oh my gosh, I caught a glimpse of the full moon. It's not quite full. It's like nearly there. It almost looks as if it is already. But where my bedroom is inside my house where I can look outside the window, it just was so bright. Let me <laughs> put this up a little bit. It was so bright and I love moon gazing. You know, some people love to gaze at the sunset. I do as well, but I love to look at the moon. It, it just like stops me in my tracks sometimes. I just be like, <sighs> it's so beautiful to me. But moon, Luna, that's all like feminine energy. So I love to just absorb. I love to absorb that. So... I hope that y'all enjoyed this episode of Before Bed Tarot Spread. I hope that the messages will help, you know, carry some good vibes, some positive energy, some newness, some leveling up for you in the week to come. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Okay. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay. 